A woman who was disinherited by her late mother has been awarded £164,000 after the Court of Appeal overruled her will. The court ruled the decision by Heather Illett's mother to leave almost half a million pounds to three animal charities rather than her estranged daughter was not reasonable. Experts say this decision might leave wills open to challenge. Well, Andrew Kidd, a specialist in wills and probate law, joins us from central London. Very good morning to you. Just how significant is this? Good morning. Yeah, it's a very significant ruling. I mean, it really underlines um, the court's inherent jurisdiction. Um, th that it has to interfere with an estate and a will if it sees fit, if it sees there's been a, there should have been a reasonable provision for a family member. Why did they make this decision when it was clearly stated in a will, a legal document, that this woman wasn't to get any money from her mother? On what basis can they decide, actually, we're going to overrule that and give her money when it, you know, it's a legal document, this? People will be watching thinking, well, hang on, like me, I've just done a will recently. What if my children decide one day, oh, well, we're not happy with her decision. Well, we have testamentary freedom in this um, country, that, that, but, but, but what has to be balanced with that is the rights under the Inheritance Provision for Family and Dependents Act. And under that act, um, the court has, has an inherent jurisdiction to interfere with an estate if it, sees, um, if it sees fit and somebody brings an application under that act for reasonable provision. So that the conflict is always between the Inheritance Act and the court's jurisdiction to make an award from an estate and the right to have testamentary freedom and to exclude and disinherit children if you want to. So will the onus now be on the person who makes the will to say, to give reasons, explicit reasons, why they are perhaps leaving their child out of the will? Uh, yes, it, it is, and that is always a very sensible precaution. But if you look at this, the facts of this case, uh, the willmaker did, did in fact leave a letter of wishes um, setting out the reasons for excluding um, her daughter, Heather. But the court really, this was a really special case and that the, the daughter was quite destitute. She was living on the breadline. That was the case she put forward to the court. She had five children. and it, It's a subjective test, so it, no matter how well the wishes are recorded by the willmaker, the court will always look look at the facts of the case and clearly this was a special case um, and the daughter Heather was quite destitute and the, the court saw fit to make an award from the estate um, a, a reasonable provision award. Is there a danger in the future that people could abuse this kind of loophole as it were? They may have a, a rich parent that they don't have a good relationship with and then engineer a scenario where they could say look I'm penniless I, I deserve that money. Well, a court is not um, is not really uh, hoodwinked easily. Um, so, I mean, this case has been going on for years and years, and the court will look at the facts uh, with great scrutiny and care. So, it, it would not be easy to um, to manipulate the process in that way. Is it also the case that in this scenario, the lady who made up her will didn't give specific reasons why she wanted to leave? these animal charities half a million pounds. You didn't kind of yeah. have a, an explanation as to the relationship, the long-term relationship she'd had with them. That, that is correct. She'd really focused on the reasons why she'd excluded her daughter, Heather, and she hadn't perhaps focused on the reasons why she uh, wanted to benefit from, from these charities. So that's perhaps a way that, that, that could have been tightened up, yes. So what advice would you give to uh, parents who are drawing up wills and they don't want their kids to get the money? Well, um, documenting the reasons why they want to disinherit a, a child is, is fundamental um, and also establishing the reasons why you want to leave your estate in a, in a certain way. But perhaps we might see uh, more uh, cases of forfeiture clauses coming into operation where uh, there's a clause in the will which says, you know, if you, if you litigate on this, if you go to court, then whatever you're left, um, you will forfeit. So we may see uh, more, f more of those types of cases, um, but, but really, it, because it's a subjective test, people that, that write wills, they need to go and take specialist legal advice um, and get, get the advice on their own particular circumstances so that the documentation can be tailored to meet their, their circumstances and their situation. I can imagine there's lots of people watching trying to make amends with their unhappy parents as we speak. Andrew Kidd, thank you. Sure.